Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative with another Divi tutorial. Today I'm going to show you something that came about when I was working on a client site. They had an art gallery and they had a lot of different pieces of art that were crazy shapes. So some were really tall, some were really wide. And what I found was happening when I'd put them in the Divi gallery slider, um, the, the page would go from really big to like, it would keep changing size, you know, on the page as it shifted automatically to the next image. So what I did was just added a couple snippets of CSS to stop that. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fixed height Divi gallery slider module. All right, let's get started. So what I'm going to show you is we're going to add a gallery and we're going to add some different shapes to it. And I'm going to do that over here in a little demo area. And then we're going to apply a CSS snippet and show you how to keep them all at the same height. Now it will make the taller ones smaller, of course. And so, but, but again, you don't have that awkward thing where it's moving the page up and down. And I can even show you that before I add the snippet. So we want to add a gallery. So this is not the slider module, but remember it's the gallery that's it's, the layout is set to slider. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add some sample images. All right, so I have about five images in here and I just made them solid shapes. So you can see a little bit of what I'm talking about already. Uh, this is a big square and then let's go to another one. See how tall this is, see how awkward this is. And then, you know, you might get one that's short and it's just, um, it's just, clunky overall it's it, it's not a good user experience it basically becomes worthless so i came up with a little solution it's pretty simple you're just going to copy some code to so copy this class first of all and this is from the written tutorial uh, if i didn't say that all of my blogs have written tutorials all my videos i should say so there's a link down below just go to the blog copy that class so what you want to do is put that in the blog module the advanced tab and then in here is where you type the classes to target the gallery all right so then we need the actual snippet and i have that again on the post oh here you can actually see my example let's not look at that quite yet so let's copy this and we're gonna put that for convenience right now we're gonna put it in the page settings advanced tab custom css paste that in there and there we go. So there's a lot, you know, maybe I shouldn't say a lot. There's some stuff going on here. But just for your information, if you want to change this, the, the only thing that you really need to change is this number right here. And it's going to be close to the top in your code in line 5. But let's say you wanted to make that uh, 500 or 400. I put it at 6 just for this example. But I think it solves it. I'm going to save here and then we'll show you how you know how this solves the problem all right so again i have five different images they're all different heights and widths and ratios but as you can see here it just it just it's just a better user experience you know your content isn't jumping all around all over the page now i realize you know like this one would have the the, the image would be you know whatever the graphics and text would be smaller but I feel like this is an improvement and I feel like this is something that could be really handy even if you have images even if they're um, you know some of them are 16 9 and some of them are 4 3 ratio even little things like that this is going to help improve so I sure hope that that you like this and that you find value in this all right so I hope that was helpful to you if you have some gallery modules that you have in the slider mode and you want to keep them kind of under control and then you can use those snippets. All right, well, feel free to subscribe. We do a lot of Divi tutorials and we'll see you in the next video.